Hey guys, it's Jen with Cards Zen by Jen. Thank you for joining me today. We are doing another Manic Monday five minute card. Um, but this card is actually gonna be my thank you card to all of my customers from the middle of January to the middle of February. So this card is also gonna be my thank you card. Um, but today I wanna show you the two products that we're gonna be using. We are using The Biggest Wish. This is from the annual catalog. This goes until May. Um, so you'll find this in the annual catalog. It is a photopolymer, which means it's the clear stamps. And um, there's just some chunky words in there and then some script words in there. And I really like it. It's just very versatile, um, a good one to have around. So set that aside for a second. Um, I am using a lot of DSP today. I'm really making this the star of the show. So this DSP is actually from Celebration. Right now we have Celebration going on from um, January 5th to the end of February. So this paper is available while supplies last for free, my favorite four letter F word. Um, it is available for free from the Celebration catalog. And I can show you where that is located. So, and if you are not familiar with Celebration, what that means is for every $50 of product that you purchase from Stampin' Up, it can be any of the catalogs, um, and it can also include the prepaid paper pumpkin codes. Um, but for every $50 that you spend, not including shipping and tax, you get a free item from Celebration. Again, these items are while supplies last. Um, so the first thing is this really cute owl stamp set. There's also a stamp set for that's called Thanks a Bunch with the carrots on it. And then here's where the paper is. This is the Dainy Flowers 12 by 12 DSP paper. You get 12 sheets, two of each six designs. This will coordinate with the Dainty Delight Bundle. The Dainty Delight Bundle is in the new mini catalog. This one goes from January to April. And here is the Dainty Delight. It's really cute. I love the flowers in it. Um, my favorite part about the Dainty Delight, and unfortunately I did not buy this yet, so I'm being honest. Uh, my favorite part though about the Dainty Delight is actually the very wispy flowers in the die cuts. Um, you can maybe see this better in the back. Let me pull this out here for you. Yes, you can see this a little bit better in the back here. And you can see how wispy those are. And they're just gorgeous. They would be just beautiful on any card. Look how beautiful that is. It's very simplistic, very gorgeous. So let's move on. And again, you can get those until the end of February or while supplies last. The other thing I wanted to point out with that Dainty Delight bundle in the mini catalog is that the cost of the bundle, if you buy the stamp and the dies at the same time, it's called a bundle. And Stampin' Up! does a 10% discount on that. The cost of that, I believe, is $54.75 for that bundle. So if you think about it this way, you buy the Dainty Delight bundle for $54.75, plus shipping and handling tax, all that fun stuff, then you can pick this paper for free. So let me show you some of this paper because it is absolutely beautiful. Every, all the paper, all the DSP paper is all double-sided. So you have this design and then this design on the back. You have, these are beautiful little, um, little frames really, flower frames. And then you can use these, cut these and use these up the side of your card. Um, so front and back design for that. This paper is the one that we are gonna be using today. And you have the front and back design of that. You also just have the greenery. And again, a back design maybe for that. Here we go, the purple. And then this has more of the rich razzleberry colors in it. Very pretty. And then it has like this bluish color on the background, on the back side of it. And then this has all the flowers, which is just gorgeous. And again, 
just that. I believe that's petal pink. If you get DSP paper from Stampin' Up and you are unsure what colors to pair with it, on the very back, you will find listed all of the colors, the main colors that are in the DSP paper. And what this means, people who are color weak like me, um, I, it makes it a lot easier for me to um, coordinate my colors because I don't always see colors the way everybody else sees colors. So it gets very hard for me to pair up colors. Um, so you'll see that right underneath the design series paper, you'll see Blushing Bride, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Mossy Meadow, Old Olive, Rich Razzleberry, and Starry Sky. So those are the main colors that are in that DSP. So I'm gonna set those aside for just a second and we're gonna get out the trimmer. We're gonna start cutting some paper. So let's bring our trimmer in here. Cover that up for just a second. My base for my card today is going to be the basic white. Now, if you use, if you decide that you are gonna use basic white for your card base, I suggest that you always use the thick basic white. The basic white comes in two versions. You have the regular and you have the thick. The thick will hold up better. The thick is more like your card stock, your regular card stock, and it will hold up better. So we're gonna cut this. We're just gonna take a regular eight and a half by 11. We're gonna cut it to five. Oops, get my score out of there. We're gonna cut it to five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're gonna score this to make this our card base. Set that back down for a second. The other piece that we're going to do is we're going to take Blackberry Bliss. This is one of my favorite colors. And this Blackberry Bliss, we are going to do at four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So four and an eighth. By five and three eighths. Sorry if I'm getting my head in here. I'm trying not to. There we go. And that takes care of that. Let's grab our designer series paper. And I am going to cut this to five and a quarter. I'm going to do five and a quarter here. Oops. And then this way, we're gonna do four inches. Blah, blah. You can see how that's starting to come together. So we are also gonna need a piece of basic white. And I have a piece over here. So we also have a piece of basic white and that is what we're gonna stamp on our sentiment. I want that to be two and a half inches by one and a half inches. So two and a half. By one and a half. There we go. Two and a half by one and a half. All right, I think we're good there. And then we are gonna use Mossy Meadow as a backing for that. So I want that to be two and three fourths by one and three fourths. So I'm just grabbing a scrap piece that I have. I started off being a scrapbooker, so I have, I keep my scrap pieces of my cardstock um, to use them again. And not everybody does that. Some people just toss them, but I just can't get it out of me. I don't hold on to them. Okay. So now you can see how that is going to just mat with the colors right there. All right. So we are done with our trimmer. We'll set that aside for a moment. Let's bring our card base in here. We're going to fold it in half. And we are going to score it with our bone folder takes care of that. We are going to take, we're going to use this side of our paper because we're going to show those beautiful flowers there. We're going to let that do all of the work. Um, what did 
I do with the glue. I usually prime my glue and have it all ready to go, and today I neglected to do that. Oh, look at that. Works just fine. So I'll put some glue on there and put that, matte that with your Blackberry Bliss. There we go. Okay, now we're gonna come in again. We are going to put glue on the back of your Blackberry Bliss. And we are going to put that on the front of your card. Now, do you see how that mat just makes that pop? Um, I know sometimes I put DSP right up against my card base and I really shouldn't. I should always put that, just that little lip of color there just makes it look so much better. I'm gonna set this aside for just a second and we're gonna bring in our stamps. Now, because I'm stamping with a clear stamp, I do want to make sure that I am using my um, Stamp and Pierce mat. It's a little bit of cushion. You just get a better, you just get a better stamp whenever you're using that. Put my piece of Mossy Meadow aside. Let's grab our white. I am using Crushed Curry and Blackberry Bliss for my colors for this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that chunky, I'm gonna take that chunky thanks. This needs to be my thank you card for my, for um, my, customers for this month, this next month. So this is going to be thanks. So I am going to get into my crushed curry here. See if I can do this straight. I can never do it on camera. But remember, if you mess it up, there's always a backside. Just turn it over and do it again. It's no big deal. I'm going to let that dry for just a second. Close that up. We are going to grab our Blackberry Bliss. And I'm using now the script of the thanks. And ink that up here. And we're just going to come down right in the middle. Go right over top of it. There you go. How's that? All right, so now all we have to do is mat this. And pull this out. I'm just gonna mat it on our Mossy Meadow cardstock. There you go. Let's bring in some dimensionals because we want this to pop up a little bit. I want it to stand up off the card for a little bit. Oops. Don't laugh, I really do throw all of my dimensional backings on my floor of my craft cave. Um, I don't know, it's just something I do. And then I kind of feel better than whenever I um, come in and I vacuum it all up and I start fresh again. So it just makes me feel like I got something done, I guess. So my favorite flower on here is the Black Eyed Susans. I am a sucker for Black Eyed Susans. Um, so I don't want to cover those up. I really don't want to cover those up. So I'm going to put this down in this lower left-hand corner here. There. How's that? Last thing we need to do is just add a little bit of bling. Again, I'm a sucker for these butterflies. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I use these all the time. Um, I'm not overly positive that they're still current. I think they are. And, um... I am just absolutely going to be heartbroken whenever they're no longer being offered because I really do love them so much. There you go. How's that? How about one more? One more just for good measure. One more. How about right here? There you go. There you have it. What do you think? All right. I would love to see your creation. That was my five-minute card for the day. You guys have a great day and happy stamping.